Hey, what's up guys? This is Damon's Tech here with a possibly controversial video. Listen, I just don't want the whole Mac PC debate to start up again in the comments because today I'm going to show you guys how to run Windows on your Mac and how to run Mac on your Windows. So running Windows on Mac OS X is really easy. We're going to do that first. You just download one of a few programs. They're made for this and you just download those and then get an official copy of Windows, install them both together. It just works. Running Mac OS X on Windows is a different story altogether because it's not officially supported. So it is a bit tricky to get working, but if you're up for it, let's do that and if you want to skip to that part I'll put an annotation in the bottom of the video so let's go so installing Windows in a virtual machine on a Mac requires a few things first you'll need a copy of Windows be it Vista 7 or 8 and preferably official Second, you'll need virtualization software to run the OS in. Now, in this video, we're going to be using the free VirtualBox for both OSs, and although you can use VMware Fusion or Parallels Desktop 2, they are paid apps. And lastly, you'll need at least 4GB of RAM in your Mac, preferably more. 8GB is perfect, but as a minimum, 4GB should be fine. So first, we'll head to the VirtualBox website, and on the download page, download the OS X version. Double-click the installer and run through the process. Then run the app from your applications when it's done. We're going to create a new machine by clicking New. Click Hide Description for some more advanced options, then type in a name and select the version of Windows you're installing if it's not already selected. Set how much RAM you want to allocate to Windows. 2GB should be fine even with a 4GB system. Click Create and on the next screen choose the amount of storage required and click Create again. You now have a new virtual machine created Change some settings in here if you want and click start when you're ready. VirtualBox will ask for the Windows installer directed to either our Windows ISO file or your CD drive. Click through the rest of the Windows install process. The time it takes depends on how fast your computer is and how much RAM you've given it. And don't forget, choose custom install in the Windows installer. Don't choose upgrade. When it's finished, you should have a fully functional version of Windows running alongside Mac OS X. So installing Mac OS X in a virtual machine on Windows requires a little bit more work, but it's still relatively easy. First you'll need a PC running 64-bit Windows with at least a dual-core processor and 4GB of RAM to install Mountain Lion. If your processor only supports 32-bit, you can install Snow Leopard instead. Your processor also needs to support VTX, I'll have a link in the description to determine whether your processor supports it. You'll need VirtualBox and the expansion pack, you can get them for free from the website. A hacked version of Mountain Lion because this won't work using the vanilla installer, the hacking group Olorila has put together a great ISO, you can search for it on Google. You'll need the Hackboot 1 and Hackboot 2 ISO files, and you'll need MultiBeast 4. All the links for these are below in the description. First off, download the Windows version of VirtualBox plus the extension from the website and install. Open it up and click New. Give your OS a name and make sure everything's set to Mac OS X. Click next and allocate some RAM. You could get away with 2GB if your system only has 4, but Mac OS X really needs about 4 all to itself. Obviously, only do this if your system has about 8GB installed. Click next, create, next, next. Then choose the amount of storage you want in your system. You probably will need at least 20GB, so click create again. And VirtualBox will bring you back to the main screen with your new machine created. Click settings and in the system tab, uncheck enable EFI. Click on the storage tab and click on the CD icon that says empty. Then click the CD DVD drive button and click choose a virtual disk file. Choose the Hackboot 1 ISO and click OK. You're now ready to boot. Have your Mountain Lion or Snow Leopard ISO ready and click start. When it boots, click the CD icon at the bottom of the virtual box window and select choose a virtual disk file. But this time choose your hacked Mountain Lion ISO. Back on the Hackboot screen, press F5 to reload, and you should see the OS X installed DVD. Select this option and hit enter. After going through the initial setup, you'll see Mountain Lion can't detect any hard drives. To fix this, go to the Utilities in the menu bar, and choose Disk Utility. Click on the Virtual Box hard drive in the left hand pane, and in the Arrays tab, give your drive a name, and click Arrays. You should then see your new drive show up in the left sidebar. 
exit disk utility and continue with the installer as normal. It'll take about 20 minutes, so be patient. When it's finished, you should see a black screen with white text. At this point, close the window with the X. So you're almost finished. The last part just requires you to fix up some audio and graphics problems to get everything working smoothly. Now I'm not going to explain this part in the video just because there's a lot of code and moving files around involved. This part's much more suited to a text tutorial. But don't worry, I've written these last steps out on my Tech Tips blog. The link to that article is below. Make sure to follow that to finish up your installation. So there you go, that's how to install Windows on Mac OS X and Mac OS X on Windows. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, I upload new videos every single Saturday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan here. You may have noticed today is Wednesday, so this is not a full Saturday video. Instead, we're going to do something a little different. It's nothing much, but I know some of you guys have been asking where and how I get my wallpapers, so I thought I'd make a video to show you guys.